What's the secret formula for the best DJI Mavic footage? What sharpness and style should you be using? Well, after days of testing, we finally figured it out. Inside the DJI Go app, there is an option to adjust your video settings right below the record button. You can adjust the resolution from 4K, 2.7K, 1080p, all that fun stuff. The white balance should also be adjusted to your current conditions. I usually always leave it in sunny white balance because I'm normally filming in sunny conditions. If it's cloudy, you can change it as well, but most of the time I keep it in sunny even if it's cloudy. Below that, you'll see the style option. Inside the style menu, you'll have a standard style, landscape, soft, and custom. For the purpose of this test, we'll be adjusting the custom style to adjust for sharpness, contrast, and saturation. After years of shooting with DSLRs, I was quick to choose custom and dial everything down to negative three. This works well with DSLR cameras to create a flat image. The flat image is then edited in post to create that look that you're going for. What I've learned now after shooting with DJI drones over the last couple years, this obviously doesn't just apply with the Mavic, but in general, we're talking about the Mavic for now. I've now began to shoot sharpness, contrast, and saturation at negative one. I felt that the image is sharper and easier to work with than setting everything to negative three. Recently, there's been a great debate if shooting with negative one sharpness actually hurts the Mavic image. When shooting with the custom setting and reducing sharpness, it seems to mud the high details of the image. Trees seem to become a blur, and when looking closely at these fine details, it appears that the Mavic is just washing them all together into a big mud pie of detail. With this test, I wanted to see the difference between increasing and decreasing sharpness in the custom style. You can see these images that there is a very obvious difference. The negative three sharpness shot of these palm trees almost looks cloudy and blurry. There's kind of like a balloon to them. They just look weird. When punching in on the plus three sharpness, the palm tree detail is sharp and crisp, but almost too sharp. So plus three is almost too sharp and negative three is almost too soft. So we had to find a middle ground there. Now the lesser of the extreme is plus one sharpness. It seems to really highlight the detail in this image and create a crisp sharp image. You can see the negative one sharpness, the trees once again are muddy and the detail almost has a bloom like filter. So in this shot of the house, I'm using a normal style that most people use with their DJI Mavic. It's not a bad looking shot overall. It's very easy, simple to use. You can use this shot for pretty much everything. The custom plus one sharpness seems to have more contrast, which I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just with the style there. The added sharpness is just too much once you bump up the sharpness to plus two, plus three. Excuse me for one second. I found this gap in the trees here and I just wanted to fly that Mavic through it real quick. All right, back to the test. This beach shot is a normal profile shot. The sun and weather here in Florida have not wanted to cooperate for this test. So don't pay attention to the exposure between the shots, but focus on the detail of the image because that's what the test is really about. So using here the custom profile, negative one sharpness, negative one contrast, negative one saturation, that's been my go-to setting for the last year or so. You can see the difference between the normal profile and using the negative one custom profile. In this shot, the custom profile is negative three sharpness, negative three contrast, negative three saturation. The image is much flatter and you can see the detail once again in the palm trees is muddy and the detail in the image is blurred. It's not a good look. Bumping the custom profile up to plus three doesn't work either. It's just too much of everything. It's oversaturated, it just does not look good. Plus three sharpness in this shot is way too much and it's just not a good look. Every detail is dramatically sharpened and it's just, it's not good. The shot of this building in normal profile looks fine. Changing to the custom profile with negative three everything creates a very flat image, but once again, all the details turn to mud and the image doesn't look good. Trying plus three sharpness and plus one contrast, plus one saturation isn't bad, but again, it's just too sharp. This is a very untypical shot that you're gonna get with a Mavic. You can see here, I placed a small cactus very close to the camera and the soda can behind it. Shooting inside, testing the effects of the sharpness setting on the noise in the image. Starting with the first shot here is negative three sharpness and increasing the sharpness up to plus three by the final image. The first couple images look pretty clean as the sharpness is increased. You can also see that the sharpness increases the noise in the image caused by the ISO. So increasing the sharpness does increase the image's noise and sharpens all the fine details. Comparing these two images side by side, you can see the huge difference in shooting negative three sharpness and plus three sharpness. Again, the trees are very muddy and blurry in the 
reduced sharpness, and in the plus three sharpness, overly sharpened. After looking through all this footage, I'm gonna have to say that the custom profile plus one sharpness, negative one contrast, negative one saturation might be my new go-to style. You probably do fine with zero sharpness added as well. Once you start reducing the sharpness, the Mavic starts to do weird things and the image loses that fine detail. Now that we have our style figured out, the question of what color setting is best still remains. There's a large selection of preset colors to choose from. You can choose D-Log to shoot a type of log footage, or you can choose the DJI Cine Color. I'm not sold on adding color directly in the camera, but for the sake of argument, let's take a look at different examples here. Looking at this shot of the beach shot in D-Log, you can see it's very flat, almost unusable, but that's the log footage. Log footage allows you to add color later on in post-production. You can simply add a LUT to this image and it quickly comes to life. Comparing it directly to the D-Cine color after adding a Cine LUT, you can basically see that we come to the same conclusion. Shooting with D-Log will add more time to your editing process, but some videographers and editors want to create their own look and that's what D-Log is for. If you're not looking to add hours onto your editing time, I really don't see a huge benefit in shooting D-Log personally. I'm pretty happy with the overall image and I normally don't change the color profile. I might simply add a quick color correction later on, but really most of my videos have a very simple color grade. I sometimes don't even color grade some of the images. When it comes to color, it's gonna be up to you to choose your desired look. Really the most important thing is making sure that you're capturing the best image in terms of sharpness and detail. Hopefully you guys found some valuable information in this video to help you decide which style you wanna use. In the end, it's really just gonna be up to you and your personal taste. That's the great thing about filming and editing. You can choose to be as creative as you want or just as plain as you want. So get out there and get to testing your own settings. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Drone Nerds channel.